All right, you guys, I want to share real quick a dream that I had just to upload it. Um, this is going to be a place where I'm going to be watching for a little while. Providing everything works out like it's supposed to. I'm here to meet somebody now. But it's a good place, you know, to... This is a nice place to really be. But anyhow, <clears throat> it's a long driveway down, walking downhill. Staircases, if you feel like getting some exercise up and down the stairs. <clears throat> anyhow, um, I'm going to share real quick, you guys, a dream that I had last night, man. And it was like, wow. What happened was, uh, it was like undercover military operation and uh, the uh, um, one military officer what happened was he came up and he raised his hands in the air who is an undercover agent he raised his hands in the air and he had uh, he took in uh He took and uh, t hand, held his hands in the air. Then he turned around and uh, like handed a pair of handcuffs to the other undercover agent. And uh, and then they cuffed him and uh, took in. Uh, cuffed him, took and put him, took him to like the jail, I guess, and then when they got there, the next thing I knew, he was, uh, he was like part of their operation, and then I guess there was a lot of money or something there, but they were saying, look at how they said this money is no good, they said the money's no good. And then all of a sudden I seen like uh, lions and bears. They were uh, fighting one another. Lions and then bears. The lions would you know, be devouring on the bears and then the bears would take off running. And then the bears would come back after the lions. And uh, it was like really it was kind of strange. And then all of a sudden I'm back there with this guy that was first handcuffed and arrested and he took in uh um went outside and then he took in uh locked the gate as soon as he went outside of their building he locked the gate and uh, we started walking out there and it was almost like we were in mexico and uh almost like we we're in mexico and you know how they celebrate the uh, the Day of the Dead in Mexico? Well, that's what they were doing. But then there was like uh, calves or stuff like on the walls. And you could tell that they were dead. Uh, cows, calves like. And then, uh, all of, and then there was a crowd of people like a parade going on. And in this parade, they took in... Uh, Um, they had sticks and they were like doing things like witchcraft or something in the parade celebrating the dead and uh, anyhow from there um, it was like we were walking through the parade then there were people there on their knees praying in front of like um, like where the dead were buried and then I'm like on a roof and all of a sudden I see one of the calves started coming alive. And it was dead, but it was like coming alive, like the dead were coming alive. And then they would come down off the wall and then they'd start running through the people. And, uh, and then um, all of a sudden dead people started coming out of their graves. And... Uh, then one of them came up by me, and they, you could tell that their skin was even whitish, like looking white, white, very white, but uh, like dead, like they'd been deceased for a while. 
And it was like I took a stick and I pushed him away and he fell off the roof. Then I leaped and I jumped in the air and I started flying above it all. And then uh, I took and uh, landed someplace and uh, nothing could come around me. None of it came around me. But it was uh, it was pretty wild. That's what I was seeing. Like the dead were coming alive. Even the animals. The dead sacrificed animals. But uh, I can't really think of anything else now. I wrote it all down. I got it on my computer. Um, and when I woke up, it was exactly 4 a.m. Exactly 4 a.m. Yep. Anyhow. Yeah, this is a nice view, a nice place to relax. You know, but there's lots to do. Lots to do. I don't think we got much time, you guys. I really don't think we have much time. That dream showing me like the lions and the bears were fighting and uh like fighting against each other. And then the how that it was in Mexico where they celebrate the Day of the Dead or something, and then all the uh, animals were coming alive. But anyhow, all right, you guys, if you can get anything out of that, you know, let me know, man. I know in Israel, they they just got their five red heifers over there. And we know Jesus Christ is the last sacrifice, okay? Jesus Christ. It's the only way. But to fulfill Bible prophecy, the Hebrews are going to do this because it's written, it's written in Bible prophecy that they are going to um, sacrifice animals. And there's five of them. And then uh, he stops them halfway. So they're probably going to get... A couple of them sacrificed, then the man of perdition comes. See, these things have to happen, what they're doing, even though Jesus Christ is the only way. According to scriptures, these things have to happen to fulfill scriptures. And it shows you how close these things are happening. I had this dream, and then somebody sent me that video, and I seen it this morning saying that. All right, you guys, I hope and pray everybody out there, you can get a message from this. And be ready, man. God bless each and every one of you in the name of our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ.